Hi and welcome to my video blog, Scarf Time Made Easy. I've been a fan of scarves for many years and with an ever-growing collection and a variety of different colours, patterns and sizes, it's very rare that you'll see me without one. Over recent months, more and more clients have been asking me how to wear scarves, so I thought I'd put this blog together. Scarves are a really affordable way to refresh your wardrobe and their accessorising potential is boundless. Not only are they a great way to introduce colour into your wardrobe, but they're a fab way to express your personal style. There are hundreds of different ways that you can tie scarves, but I'd like to share with you today just a handful of my favourites. So starting first off with a couple of scarf ties that work very, very well if you're new to working with scarves. So the basic loop. Start with your scarf and allow it to fold in half. Place that around the back of your neck and then pop your hand through the loop, pulling the two ends of the scarf through, creating the basic loop. I'd next like to share with you the European loop. So start by placing the scarf around the back of your neck, pull one side slightly longer, loop again around your neck, and there we have the European loop. From here, I'd like to take you on to the necklace. So from the basic loop, what we do is loop it over and under, over and under. We then come onto the other side and we do the same. So it's over and under, over and under. Now you can either leave the free ends hanging like I've done here, you can tie them in a knot if that's your preference, or you can continue to loop them over until the free ends have been used up. So that's the necklace. Switching up to a slightly different scarf, now slightly shorter but slightly heavier in texture, I'd like to show you the knot. So start by placing the scarf around the back of your neck. Allow one side to fall slightly longer than the other. And with the longer side, create a half knot, leaving a gap that you can pop your hand through. Take hold of the other end of the scarf and pull that through the hole and then pull both ends, creating the knot. This is particularly good um, if you find yourself slightly heavier busted but you want to wear scarves, the knot can stop further down, um, emphasising a really nice nipped in waist. Alternatively, you can slide the knot up and wear it slightly higher if that's your preference. This works really, really well worn underneath um, a nice open shirt collar or indeed um, a jacket. So that's the knot. The next I'd like to share with you is the infinity. So we start with a scarf popped around the back of our necks and we tie both ends together in a knot. We then create a figure of eight and pop the second loop over our heads, creating the infinity. Switching up again, I'm taking now a silk scarf, which is much finer in texture. This type of scarf works particularly well um, worn in the office or indeed as we start to come into the warmer months. So I'd like to share with you now the turtleneck. So start by placing the scarf around the back of your neck, pull one side longer and wrap once, twice or maybe even three times around your neck depending on the length of the scarf. And we just tie the free ends together like so. Now you can either leave these hanging as I've done today, you can twist them round behind your neck, you can pop them in a knot and you can tuck them up underneath your scarf if that's what you prefer. This look looks really fantastic, worn with a plain t-shirt and a blazer again with an open neck shirt. So that is the turtleneck. And the last I'd like to share with you today is called the weave. So starting with the scarf, fold it in half and place it around the back of your neck. You then take one end of the scarf and pull it through. We then take the other end and we pull it through but from the opposite direction, creating the weave pattern that we have there. 
Now moving on just to a few top tips. Scarves tied around the neck, such as I've worn here, um, are very, very flattering to those with long necks. Equally, they work really, really well if you want to draw the attention up towards your face. The bolder the pattern on a scarf, the simpler your outfit should be. If you're big busted, as I demonstrated with the knot scarf, it's always good to wear um, knots and detail down here where you're more nipped in around your waist, or again, higher up towards your face to draw the attention up to your face. Always ensure pattern scarves are worn to scale. And fuller scarves, such as the yellow one that I have here that are slightly he heavier in texture, work very, very well if you find yourself being slightly heavier on your lower half because they help to balance the lower and upper body. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video blog and please do share with me which are your favourites. Until next time.